हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट व्हाई कैटरेक्ट इज मोर कॉमन इन डायबिटीज मलाइटस सो व्हाई इट इज अकरिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन डायबिटीज मलाइटस इट मे बी ए इंसुलिन डिपेंडेंट और इंसुलिन इनडिपेंडेंट बट अल्टीमेटली दर इज ए इंक्रीज लेवल ऑफ ग्लूकोज इज सीन एंड दिस ग्लूकोज वेन लेवल ऑफ दिस ग्लूकोज इज इंक्रीज दैट विल अटैच ओवर द प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल दिस अटैचमेंट ऑफ ग्लूकोज ओवर द प्रोटीन दैट इज मोस्टली एंजाइमेटिक मीन्स एंजाइम इज नीडेड बट समाइम ड्यू टू हाई ग्लूकोज लेवल दिस ग्लूकोज कैन डायरेक्टली अटैच ओवर द प्रोटीन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड नॉन एंजाइमेटिक एडिशन ऑफ दिस ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल एंड दैट लीड टू द एडवांस ग्लाइकेटेड एंड प्रोडक्ट फॉर्मेशन एंड दैट इज लीडिंग टू द वेरियस कंडीशन सो ड्यू टू दिस हाई अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लूकोज इन डायबिटीज मलाइटस इंक्रीज ग्लाइकेशन मीन्स नॉन एंजाइमेटिक एडिशन ऑफ दिस ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल over the protein particularly crystalline protein of the lens is seen and due to this deposition or attachment of this glucose what happen that will lead to the denaturation of this crystalline protein which is present in the lens and due to denaturation of protein that will be precipitated and that can cause the opacity in the lens so one reason there is a increased glucose level and that is leading to the denaturation of protein and creating opacity so that is one reason second reason that is due to polyol pathway now polyol that nothing a just conversion of glucose to fructose so that glucose to fructose formation that is with the help of polyol pathway and here two enzyme is needed first one that is aldose reductase that is converting glucose to sorbitol that is one type of alcohol and this sorbitol will be converted into the fructose that is keto sugar with the help of this sorbitol dehydrogenase and this glucose to fructose formation is also important in our body and that is possible with the help of polyol pathway but particularly in some tissue like lens renal glomeruli and peripheral nerves what happen this enzyme sorbitol dehydrogenase of this pathway means polyol pathway is deficient and decrease activity of this poly uh, this particular sorbitol dehydrogenase lead to the accumulation of the sorbitol when this sorbitol that is one kind of alcohol which is accumulated that will attract more water molecule inside that particular tissue so that will attract water in a lens renal glomeruli as well as peripheral nerves so in the lens this high glucose that will be converted into the high sorbitol level but this sorbitol sorbitol cannot go outside of the lens and that is the main problem already this lens protein is denatured second thing sorbitol level is increasing and that is further creating problem so high sorbitol pull more water into the lens and make this lens swelling and opacity is occurring and that is creating osmotic damage already denaturation of protein and further osmotic damage and all these together that is creating various problem like this opacity of lens that is considered as a cataract and here you have to remember when cataract related to the diabetes mellitus here you have to remember one more one that is no flag like cataract and one more name that is bread crumb like cataract so this word that is typically for the diabetes mellitus but oil drop cataract that is Uh, said for the galactosemia where also cataract is seen but here that oil drop cataract for the galactosemia but snowflake or bread crumb like cataract that is for the diabetes mellitus so main two reason there is a advanced glycated end product and second thing this due to polyol pathway and this is leading to the particular cataract formation so not only cataract formation there is a reti uh, retinopathy that is due to the accumulation of this glucose in the lens further this damage of, over the kidney that will lead to the nephropathy and neuropathy that is due to increased level of glucose inside and sorbitol in the peripheral nerves so all these are the main reason advanced glycated end product is the main reason for this cataract as well as this nephropathy and neuropathy so that's all about why cataract is more common in diabetic patient